Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an or an ordinary normal obsidian note, similar to the one that we're looking at right now, and turn it into a beautiful looking mind map in XMind, similar to one like this. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Hey, this is Brandon. Thanks for following along. Uh, if you are interested in getting a bunch of free mind maps on personal development, absolutely free, head over to brandonyeager.com forward slash newsletter. It, I have some already up there as I build out new ones based off of other books that I'm reading. I'm going to be putting those up there as well. Uh, you're welcome to them and hopefully you can uh, get some value out of this. As I've been learning how to better utilize Obsidian, I'm nowhere near an expert, but as I learn, I, I try to share that information with you and I talk about the best themes that I've found. I talk about how to change the header colors. Uh, this one here is a great, uh, if you have something in Obsidian and you want to be able to port that over to XMind Mind Map, there's a very quick and simple way to do it. But before I show you how to do it, a couple things that I want to point out to you. So this green right here, this is an H1 tag and it's actually going to be uh, part of the title that's going to be in the center of the mind map. Okay. And then the, the second thing, this one here that has the uh, header three, as well as what I'm going to show you is the difference between right here, this text versus this text that's collapsible. I'm going to show you what that means and how, how to change it to better suit the mind map. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, so I'm over here in XMind and what I did is I came up to the upper left hand corner and I clicked file, new blank map, and this is what it will give you automatically by default. So if I come over here and I click on file, import, markdown, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to the exact folder that has your uh, Obsidian Markdown note. And in this particular case, I just have it in my inbox in this convert mind maps to Obsidian that is this obsidian note right here is what we're going to convert over. So I'm going to click open. And what that's going to do is create the new mind map right here. Now you'll notice the format. Uh, it's not the most ideal, but I want to, I want this is very important. So stay with me here for like one or two more minutes. So in a different YouTube video, I show you how to uh, how you're able to change the format and format the themes. Let's go. Ahead. So for right now, let me change the, the mind map format to one where it's mainly just all going off to the right. Okay. We're going to make it a logic chart off to the right. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my theme that I've already had done custom themes. Let's add that to it. Okay, so now here's a couple very important things that I want you to know. So I, I kind of like that format. That's the theme. And again, I'll put a link to some of the videos where I can show you how to do that. What you'll notice, um, you'll notice the Y has these three little lines. If I come back over to here, um, this Y, while it's able to be collapsible, because I did not put a hyphen in front of it, and it's actually just backed out the whole way underneath here, it is showing up as this it's actually showing up as a note right here now i can very quickly and easily just copy that and come up here add a tab and put that in however you're probably wanting is your if you're looking to convert your notes from obsidian over to uh the mind mapping software in this particular case xmine then i would probably recommend just going ahead and putting the bullet out in front so like down here under problems it's still collapsible and we have the three different bullets and if i come over here to the problems you'll notice that it's it's in a very nice format it's still able to be easily collapsed and i think that's pretty awesome and again here this is the title and you can kind of see has a little bit of text that was actually the text that i had right underneath the main title um, so I hope that, I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you find some value in that. That's pretty awesome to be able to take, uh, obsidian markdown notes and put it into a very visually, or even if you want to have that to go from this format, to be able to have something where it's a mind map and then able to turn that into a PDF, uh, that's pretty, it's pretty powerful and awesome. Uh, you can literally just come up here to file 
export then, and you could save that as a PDF file. Just like that, you're able to bounce back and forth. And, and again, if you want to look at my other video on how to go from the mind mapping to Obsidian Markdown, I'll put a link to that one as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you got some value out of this video, give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And I appreciate you following along my journey as I learn more about personal development and Obsidian and just trying to get a better uh, handle on how to live a life full of faith, family, fitness, and finances. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video soon. Take care.